Hello, uh, so today we're going to be recording, um, so we're, we're going to be showing how to incorporate a Captivate uh, tutorial that includes a quiz into Moodle. Uh, so the trick here is that we have our Captivate tutorial that we have downloaded. Uh, so let's take a look at one of those. Okay, so the Captivate tutorial should be in a zipped format. Uh, this zipped format is actually created by Captivate. It has a lot of different files in it, but basically it's set up in the exact um, uh, it's it's set up in the exact structure that is needed by the, by the SCORM component in Moodle. So you don't want to change anything in this zip file. Okay, you want to you want to treat the zip file as a single file. All right, so they can be fairly large because they include the video itself. Okay, so the actual video content inside the uh, the Captivate file is included in the zip file, so they can be a bit large. Uh, to mitigate the upload of these, you'd want to be on the local network inside the school. Uh, your your um, your internet speed is going to affect how long it takes to upload. So if you're on like a cell phone connection or a 3G connection, it's going to be a long time. Versus being on the school network, um, you're only working inside the school network itself. It's going to take a much shorter time to upload. Okay, so let's go ahead and now we're going to go into the Moodle 2.2 interface. So uh, let's say that I have this here. We're going to go ahead and go to the Add Activity. Notice I'm inside of a topic, so I go to Add Activity. I go to SCORM Package. Okay, and we're going to call this. Um, we're going to call this uh, Working with Windows Folders. Uh, the title, of course, is up to you. Okay, so we're going to call this. Uh, and this doesn't reflect the actual uh, content that should be added in. Of course, you need to look at the style uh, guidelines of the course you're working for to, to see exactly what to do. This is just for as an example for how to add SCORM content. Okay, so we go ahead. Uh, I'm just putting it in the description because it's required. Okay, so now we go in and we choose file. And we're going to click upload a file. And then we're going to locate that file uh, on our local computer. Remember, it's the entire zip file. So here I have the Windows folder presentation. I'm going to go ahead and click open. Uh, everything we have should be released as Creative Commons unless otherwise uh, noticed. Um, mainly what this ha what this does is it protects um, if we've used anything that has Creative Commons um, then uh, then it, it the licensing should travel through so if you if we have images or software or anything in there that is Creative Commons and we have video of it it's important that it's also released as Creative Commons Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the file name the same as the one that I'm uploading. Okay. And I'm going to click upload this file. And notice that it's going to take quite a long time. Okay, so what I did there was I made the file name. So so Moodle asks you to rename the file when it's uploaded. Okay, so I put in I basically used the same exact file name that was already in there. Okay, so it was a very quick upload, and that was 25 megabytes. Um, okay, so restrict answering time period. Um, display package. I usually like to do new window, only because when uh, when you click on something in Moodle, it's nice to keep the original Moodle uh, course or a file, like a, whatever page you're originally on, it's nice to keep that um, uh, in there. Um, Okay, so we have the grade settings. Remember that this is going to be a quiz, so these are all your settings. So this this is going to be course specific, and is something that the actual instructor might want to come in and change later on. 
Um, so we keep pretty much all of these can stay as the uh, defaults unless the instructor wants to change them. And let's go ahead and save and display. Okay, so uh, so basically this is the this is the assignment, um, and we can go into we can go in preview mode or normal mode. So basically, when a student comes in, uh, they would click enter. Uh, I haven't. Um... Okay, so this is and here is the content. So we actually go in. This is a. Uh, all of this comes from the SCORM package, so this computer applications windows folders, and notice the content starts to play immediately. Oop. The content starts to play immediately. Okay. Okay, so let's say that uh, the student finishes watching the video. Okay, and the, and then they're on to the quiz. So once they um, once they go ahead and take the quiz, notice that um, uh, on incorrect it actually shows them that it's incorrect and then continues. Okay, so it is a little bit of delay between each question. Okay, notice that I'm clicking. I click again to continue or click Y to continue. It tells them if each uh, each question is incorrect. These are just supposed to be uh, simple quizzes. So if it was a, something where you wanted a, a real, you know, a, a substantial test, we could create a different or you know a different type of file could be created. In this case, it's just a simple quiz. Uh, for some uh, basic concepts, basic computer concepts. Okay, we'll click submit. Okay, so this gives us our um, our final score. It gives us our score on the quiz. Click continue, or we could review quiz, and that's it. Uh, then the student can uh, sh can click exit activity, or shut the window. Um, and when you finish viewing this resource, we click return to course home page. Uh, and basically, the score from that quiz will then show up in the student's grade. Okay, so that's uh, how you add a captivate score, a captivate package uh, to Moodle.